<coughs> hey everyone, it's Presley at EdgateGames.com here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of Tinker. It is like a mix of two games that we really like, and you should check out too, GameStar Mechanic and Scratch. So it teaches you programming, but with like little building blocks of programming, which is the part that's like Scratch. There's little building blocks like move 10 steps when clicked, or move 10 steps when started, or like you could make it, there's no specific button, but you could do put some box together to make it dance and you click on it or when the program starts. So there's building blocks, you can make sounds, you can draw characters, you can put character guests together uh, with little like parts of the characters, which is cool because there's like different heads and different bodies and different legs and different arms. So there's different stuff like that and you can put them all together mix them up and stuff and you can make a character which is cool so i really like that feature and then that's not in either game star mechanic or scratch and then you can draw your character the drawing is kind of like scratch that you can draw but it's not but it's not like scratch in the way you draw because there's stamps of different shapes and everything and the pins and there's no fill tool actually in there at least there may be a fill tool but i haven't found it yet because I'm only on chapter two, or really chapter two, I guess that works, lesson two. So there's, so you can um, animate them, you can make animations, where by like, you can put animations together with little, they're called costumes, which are basically the different frames, like switch to frame one, and then switch to frame, wait one second, and then switch to frame two, like you can do that. And then to make a simple, Thing. and there's a lot of there's uh, quite a lot of things you can do with this it's really cool um, you can make an animation you can make it you can make a video game you can make lots of different things you can make a video game you can make an animation you can make all kinds of things as long as you can do it as long as you can do it with blocks like sounds like speech bubbles and motion costume changing and like stuff like forever do this or when start clicked do this when clicked after click to do this there and the and you can draw backgrounds too and you can also find them out of the library it's called library they have a bunch of pre-drawn things in there so you can go through there and click on the things you want they have like a ton of three draw things in there so there's, it's a really cool, it's a mix of game star mechanic because there's a story and there's, and it teaches you as you play, as you play and it's really fun. And there's characters, but there's no character that's you, which is unlike any of the games, I, any early games I've seen. So there's no character that's you specifically. They can say your name, but obviously you can't see yourself, but they can say your name and stuff. But it's really fun. The animations is the animations are cool. They have pre-made animations, but I've never checked them out before. But they have pre-made animations. They have pre-made characters. They have pre-made backgrounds. They have pre-made sounds. They have a ton of pre-made sounds. They have just lots of pre-made things. So just in case you're too lazy to draw or record a sound or something. So yeah, this has been a review of Tinker. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.